should know your company's story well enough to apply it to the specific needs you discover in Act 3. You should be able to tell a long version and a short version of your company's story. You'll choose what version to use depending on the sales cycle milestone you are in. And remember, the company's story is the primary tool you have to position your organization as a solution and differentiate it from the competition. Here's an example where the salesperson's company story misses the mark. Notice what buying decision the customer focuses on when this happens. I'm looking forward to seeing how your services can help me. Great. I have a lot of things for you today. But first, let me tell you a little about our company, Darwin Office Solutions. We're one of the top firms in our industry. The clients we serve include some of the largest commercial accounts in the world. We have 20 offices across the country, and we have the largest inventory of any firm in this region. They're big? That's exactly what I don't like about my current provider. I prefer the personalized service I could get from a smaller supplier, someone who cares more about small clients. I don't think these guys are for me. Our professional staff has the expertise to handle the largest, most complex client needs. Well, if I have to go with another big firm, their fees have to be better than what I'm getting now. What are your fees like? Well, um, they, uh, they're, uh, pretty good. It's obvious the salesperson either didn't discover the customer's need for the capabilities that are provided by their company before the company was presented, or the salesperson's story lacked a structure that would allow it to tie back to the specific needs of the customer. In any case, the salesperson needed to tailor the company story to meet the previously agreed upon needs of the customer. Now, let's look at the previous sales call when it is properly in action. I'm looking forward to seeing how your services can help me. How much information do you know about my company, Darwin Home Office Solutions? Just what you told me when we spoke last week on the phone. Let me quickly cover a couple of things I think would be important to you, okay? Okay. You told me earlier that you wanted a single point of contact for services. At Darwin Home Office Solutions, we pride ourselves on being able to deliver personalized service no matter how complex your needs might be. I will personally be handling your account. This means that regardless of what your requirements for service might be, you will always have me as your point of contact. Many of our clients have made Darwin Home Office Solutions their first choice for that very reason. At my company, you can have both high quality personal service and extensive capability at the same time. Local President's National Hour. You had in mind? Well, that sounds a lot like what I'm looking for. Why is it important to always tell your company's story? There are two big reasons. The first is because you have competition and they unsell your company by telling your prospects and customers their company story. The second reason has to do with the market for your company. Let me explain. Have you ever had a customer say, I didn't know your company did that? Well, this is a symptom of not consistently telling your company's story. And the consequences can be a lost opportunity or a competitor getting in the door of your client. Act 5 gives you a chance to make a positive impression about your company. You can uncover new opportunities by making the customer aware of your company's additional capabilities. And you'll avoid the potential of a competitor cracking into your account. So remember to make a positive statement about your company during every customer contact.